New game. New game. And, oh man, we're just going straight into this now. I've got subtitles on in case uh, in case anybody anybody does that. Someone says we should go and play uh, a disarm. Keep on talking and nobody dies. I don't know what that is. Um, maybe we'll have a look. I'll have a look. New game. So we're going straight in on this, guys. I have no idea what this game is. I've not yet played it. I've not even looked at it. I loaded up the menu. That was it to sort the um, settings out. And we're going straight on him. I have no idea who Panic Inc. is, but that's that's lovely. Congratulations to being incorporated. Boulder, Colorado, 1975. Do I talk in like an American accent for the entire thing? See you, Julia! Oh no, you see Julia even. Who's Julia? <clears throat> Mother of glitches, hello there. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> Didn't realize I was supposed to click on that. My bad. She's about your age, late 20s, laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from nearby CU Boulder. You, Henry. You, Henry, even, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. Of course. Uh, so, uh, what, what you, you know, major. There we go. Oh, hang on. Uh, you slur the word major and it smells like cause. Yeah, I like cause. That's good. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm a professor. Oh, uh, cool, I reply. What's yours, she asks. She sniffs the air. Toxicology! Was that a burn, you ask? She says, definitely. Worried, she hurts your feelings. She asks if you want to split a cheeseburger. Uh, splitting a cheeseburger. Now, you see... I can't say I've ever, I've ever, I've ever split a cheeseburger before. Uh, but yeah, one week later, you went to, you are Julia's boyfriend. What is that just lovely? First love had a, after a freaking cheeseburger. Oh, look, oh, backpack. Pick up the backpack. Don't mind if, oh, okay. I'm sort of, oh, look, I have feet. Not enough games have a body. Here we go. Oh, well, this is nice. Ground floor. I'm assuming I'm going to this truck. Anything else in here that I can nick? Let's have a good look around. Any kind of sprint? Uh, I don't know yet. Well. I mean, feet for me. And a belt! And a freaking belt, look! It's a skate belt because I- Oh, and three quarter length shorts! I am so hippin' with it with my three quarter lengths. Truck door, get on in. Oh, that's nice. Nice little features there. You date for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. Okay. That's, uh, that's different. Um, you move in. You share an apartment near the school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. That sounds nice. I'd like to drink a beer out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. So obviously something's going to go for shit. Julia wants to get a dog. I'm fine by that. I love dogs. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. There's also an intimidating, but gentle-eyed German shepherd. Nothing bad can happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's... It's badass. Well, come on, man. Me, personally, I'd pick the German shepherd. She likes beagle. But, you know, beagle being a scruffy, undersized... Oh, hang on. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle even called Bucket. See, I kind of want the shepherd. I want the German shepherd. Chances are... I'm going to be the one looking after it. So we're taking German Shepherd. Mayhem's an excellent dog. He loves wrestling with you in the parks and goes with Julia on her runs. That's good. Even though he's too big to bring to school, Julia loves him all the same. Now, see, that's nice. That's nice. Because Mayhem is a friend, child, and pet all rolled into one. See? That's good. That's good. I'm assuming nothing bad will happen. You know, that's obviously they even quoted nothing bad will happen. But obviously that's never going to happen. You talk out on the deck at summer 9.30pm and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids, she asks. Oh, well, you know. Hmm. Kids. They're not very smart. Or good at much. Ha <laughs> ha! Boom. I'm saying if you have some... Uh, I'm saying if you and I have some... A couple of idiots. What? That would be pretty good. One day, right, why rush? Uh, I wouldn't... Yeah, fine. Why not? In that case, we should probably get married. Whoa! She's going insane. Yeah, I would like that, you say. These kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best if their parents are hitched. <laughs> These are going pretty damn quick. You say she's absolutely right. Because she kind of is. Here we go, look. 
Yeah. Oh, I've got, I got a ring now and everything. Do you see that? I've got a ring on my finger now. That's nice. Well, here we are. This is the artwork. It's this kind of funky sort of... Um, for me, it looks like... Uh, now too. Hello. Um, concept art. That's what it looks like to me. What's this? Thorofair Trailhead. Lovely. What's in here? Can I take any of this? No. Do not forget to check in, okay? You're in the country. Learn to live with bears. <laughs> no fireworks warning. Uh, thoroughfare trail is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. Okay. I still have no run feature. Well, this is nice. What's going to happen? Am I going to get mauled by a bear or something? Oh, no. Okay. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call you. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. Oh, hell no. Shit is going down at this position. Shit's going down. She's not quite drunk, but she's been clearly having fun time. You fight when she gets... You fight when she gets between the sheets. I bet she does. Do I ignore her or do I get her mad? I'd be kind of annoyed at this point. I'd probably ignore her at first and then be like, uh, Excuse me, where the fuck have you been? Um, oh, mm, uh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. I get mad. You call her an inconsiderate... Oh, that's a little bit extreme. I didn't really want to call her that. She tells you to fuck off and to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it and it hurts her feelings. Oh, wow. Shit's going down now. Probably shouldn't have said that. Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws the places you go. She draws you. That's nice. You pose and flex like He-Man. You follick like Victoria's Secret. Oh, okay, guys. Come on. What are we going to do? Tell me in the, in the description below. In the description. In the comments, sorry. Do I pose and flex like He-Man? Or shall I frolic? Like Victoria's Secret model. The most and the quickest votes gets it. So come on. What is it going to be? Let's hear it. What is it going to be? Are we going to pose like He-Man? Or are we going Victoria's Secret? We've got one for Victoria. <laughs> come on. We need some more. The model. It looks like Victoria. Victoria. It looks like we're going to go. We're going to frolic, guys. We are going to frolic. There we go. We are frolicking. Very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I know. I have I have a spectacular body. Oh, look at this colour, man. This is so nice. Whoa, what is that? That just looks dangerous. Bring it on. <clears throat> what does it say? Two forks. Fire look fire lookout. Eight more miles. Eight miles?! Eight freaking miles! Oh my lord. This is gonna take a while. Corvus, hello there. Hop over. Wow, that was insanely dramatic. Oh, look at that sunset. It's just beautiful. 1982. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking mayhem at night. Of course we do! Because mayhem is a legend. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from faraway places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bloody hell! Oh, hell no. Is someone gonna die? Man. Someone best not die. Mayhem runs away. May me move, fucked dog! Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. Right. Am I gonna scare him away or do I beat his goddamn face in? Now, you see me. If someone threatened my family uh, with a knife and my dog runs off. Especially my awesome dog at that matter. I'd probably beat the shit out of him. But at the same time, I don't want to scare him away because I don't, you know. You know, it's it's kind of weird. So what do you reckon I should do, guys? Do you reckon I should... Hello, Siptic. Do you reckon I should scare him away? Or or do I beat the hell out of him? What do you reckon, guys? You know, I don't want to seem too too ridiculous. You know, too kind of like angry for my, you know, for my wife. You know, I need to... I need to fr frolic like a model for him. Yes, Jester, I like that idea. Scare. A couple people are getting scare. It's a bit of both. Um, give him one to the face. It's beating him has it's been voted up, guys. I do apologize. I'm going to have to beat the shit out of him. We're going to beat him up. Your arms get cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes out wow, before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want her to go that way either. Man, from then on, you walk by the river. 
Damn. We beat the shit out of a guy and yeah. Plans to have kids get waylaid by- Oh my god, this is getting really depressing! <laughs> Julie gets offered a job at Yale. Yale's in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate Department Chair, she wants to move. You absolutely do not. Agree if she commutes- Oh my god, I've got no choice here. I'd go with the- I'd go with her. Oh no. Um, convince her not to take- No, I can't stop her from taking the job. She has to take the job. I don't know. Did we get Mayhem back? I don't know. Lavona, I don't know. Um, I agree. Commute back and forth. You ask if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. Wow. Each semester? Isn't that like months? Jesus Christ. Shit ain't going well. We're going to break up and wait. I'm going to lose my dog. Julia sent home from Yale on paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. Really? She didn't remember that she'd happily loaned them to him just two days prior. Oh, man. She is, uh... She's going down. She is going down. She was found crying in the stairwell. Oh, my lord. Come on, guys. This is just horrible. You said that maybe you guys should talk about... Somewhat talk to someone about it. You make macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. Now you see Now you see macaroni and wine are both, are both very nice But forgetting about an issue like this is not gonna go well. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about it We're gonna we're gonna talk about it. This is going hor horribly depressing After seeing multiple doctors having many tests, they're worried that Judah might be suffering from early onset dementia. She's 41 Wow <laughs> This is this is seriously getting this is seriously getting kind of dark. <laughs> you both decide to keep it a secret for now. Oh my lord. Holy crap. Journal. Oh, am I, am I sitting down? Am I going to write in my journal? Oh. <laughs> what the f- Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! That was that was a. I'm assuming that was a naked pose of myself. <laughs> wow! Mayhem is getting older. He's got silver hair down his back and slows down at night. <laughs> you and Julia walk in, walk him to the bar to see if you're friends, and it feels like nothing has changed. Julia goes back to the university. <laughs> What's that go for? <laughs> Wow, okay. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Oh, man. Oh, makes you wonder if some things have changed. I don't know. But, uh, this, is, this is bad. Some days you get to, you get the Julia who calls you, calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. Okay, that's kind of freaky. You tell the family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home in Australia. Wow, to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. This is horrible, guys. I thought this was going to be like an interesting kind of like crazy straight in there thing. But this, this is obviously some hugely choice based uh, game here. You spread your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. Daniel, the nurse. He's a, it's a guy nurse, okay. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24-hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a full-time care facility. You are ter determined to take care of her by yourself. Uh, I don't know. I'd, uh, I'd take care. I'd try and take care of her, I guess. If you love her that much, you're going to try and take care of her, aren't you? No, this is, uh, this is, this is, this is some serious stuff. Where are we now? Okay. Just... It's a nice place here though. Freaky, weird smoke. But it's, it's a nice, uh... Nice area, I'm not gonna lie. Anything down here? Oh. Isn't there a game about a child dying from cancer? Yeah, it's called like, the dragon cancer or something like that. I can't remember. Oh look! It's a stag! What is it doing? It's just le oh, look at it go. It's pretty, isn't it? That's pretty. 
It is impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her. Like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her and she can't do anything without you. Man, this is really quite sad. I am not gonna lie, this this is actually very sad. <laughs> like seriously. I hope this kind of, you know, not brightens up, but you know. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours, drinking on the deck, watching baseball in the summer, college basketball in the winter. Drinking then too. Oh great, so now I'm becoming a bloody alcoholic. Oh, for crying out loud. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. You put a chair in front of the bedroom door. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a little bit extreme. Hey, you know what? I'm just going to wedge a chair in front of the bedroom door. So if she does manage to get out, she'll either fall over it. Or she won't be able to get out. I'm just going to trust that she sleeps like a rock. You go to the same bar at the, at the boring end of St. Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Sh Shayla, you tell Shayla, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by 1am a couple nights a week. You look forward to those nights. Oh, hell no. Gonna be some cheating going on, I reckon. One night you are stopped at a DUI checkpoint. Uh-oh. You blow a point ten, point one oh, and are taken to jail for the night. Wow, really? You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Susan! Susan! Julia's parents takes the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. Uh, they then tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. Ooh, okay. What's the new job? Is it this new Firewatch thing? Is that what it is, I'm assuming? Oh, it is. Look. Firewatch loading logo. That is my new job. Sweet. Oh, here we go. Enter the lookout tower. Well, we made it to uh, my tower. Here it is. Look, it looks a bit old and shitty, if I'm going to be honest. Oh, well. Okay. At least we got a pretty fantastic view. Not going to lie. Damn, that's a big ass moon. I mean, oh, I've got an outhouse. Really? I have to shit in an outhouse. Lovely. That's going to be just lovely. We have a Sir Oh, another one over there, look. Thoroughfare Lookout. There's another one. Is there another one anywhere else? Can I see any more? Well, we made it up here where the place is boarded up for some reason. Anything else? Open the door. Oh, I like how the, how the sound effects kind of move around. That's really kind of cool. Supplies for two forks. Uh, what else have we got in here? Desk lamp, old wood stove, stove, cookbook. Oh, cool. Water jug, map table, the singular mind. I'm assuming that's a book. Where's the power? I'm assuming this. Generator switch. Oh, look at that. Just twatted it across the road. Boom! Smashed the hell out of it. Hello! Hello! He's like, oh, yeah. Nice. My stumpy hands. Reply. How do I reply? Hold left shift. Hello. Whoever this is. It's Henry, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm Henry. I'm Delilah. Yeah, Delilah! I said on the phone. <clears throat> so, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. M so, what's wrong? My my, my what's wife wrong with you? went insane. <laughs> That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can Pine I cone. sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Uh. Wow, you've killed three ex-husbands. <laughs> okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down. And <laughs> again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. <laughs> I see. I don't know anything about you, but nine times out of ten, folks out here simply got dumped. Huh, is that it? I don't know what. Close. Good night. <laughs> good night. Welcome to the job. I've got to pick up these fire watts. <laughs> Whoa, hello. Day one. Yay.
Oh yeah, look at this old old school typewriter. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. You can see me at my desk. Uh, how? Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. Oh look, I've unpacked. You got a relaxing what? Fourteen hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus. I guess it's what six. Six forty-five. Whoops. <laughs> Don't worry about it. That hike so I can just put these things back. For a day or two. Desk drawer, desk lamp. you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it. Do you see it? Yes, I do. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W. B. Osborne. The Firefinder. Is this a spot? You guessed it. Fi. What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um. You, uh, you use this to... Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. What? Your west facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? What, what? Which is west, you crazy fool? Are those fucking fireworks? Oh. <laughs> yeah, they are. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Uh, like kick the shit out of him. Kind of write him a ticket. Yeah, let's kick the shit out of him. Kick the shit out of him, sort of straight. No, 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 no. Jesus, <laughs> no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. A rope? There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Wow, that's secure. Secure. <laughs> Shut up. Can I run? Do I just as you walk everywhere? M to read map. So I'm going which way? I'm going west, so where am I? Okay, I'm there. Two, four. That's where I am, so I'm heading like that way. Okay, that's fun. So can I... I can't run? I've got I've got a stern walk upon me! Look at me clenching my fists! Well, I've got a gun, you're not gonna... I'm gonna stomp down here and tell these... Tell these damn children that not to use fireworks in this area. Crazy mofo. Um, west, so I need to just kind of head this way. So where is the supply box she was on about? Have I just kind of walked straight past it, or is there not? No. Man, it's a serious, you know. Yeah. It's a very nice looking game, I have to admit. It's very pretty. Can I seriously not run? This is annoying. Is that a sprint option? Oh, look! This must be said box she was jabbling on about. I, is that how far I've gone? Damn. What was it? One, two, three, four, wasn't it? One, two, three, four. Yeah, nice. Oh, look at it all. I want to see these pine granola bar. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I don't want to eat it yet. I want the old rope. What is this? Okay, yeah, nice. What does this say? Ron, hey man. Guy couldn't take it, so I locked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those bars you liked, hiking into the park, but let's get fucked when I'm back. I'll take the note. Can I, can I not, like, keep these, or... Keep, hold, okay. Oh no, I don't eat it yet. Do I just eat it? Damn it! I didn't mean to eat that. So what is the point of these things, then? Copy information. Well, that's a nice... That's a nice feature, I like that. Right, okay, let's go. So, I need to head, like, this way. I'm not quite sure where it is I'm actually going. Medicine wheel, what is that? This is gonna be like Baywatch for more fire. <laughs> Probably. It's kind of annoying that I can't sprint. Is there seriously no sprint? Oh, ah, to toggle jogging, there it is! That's what I'm talking about. Where are these fireworks then? Go 
can't see these fireworks. Have I gone the wrong way? Oh no, there they are. I see y'all. I see y'all. Rope hook. Yeah. Oh, that was skillful. That was pretty amazing. It just kind of like magically threw it onto there. Down we go, down we go. La 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 la. Whoa! Oh man, that's gotta hurt. Oh, what the f. What happened there? Call it in. Call it in! Ow. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. You didn't break anything, did you? No. No, not yet. Make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. What is this? Okay. I'm pretty sure they were this way. So am I there? Look at these different paths there. This is intriguing. Where are the Port Meadow? I'm staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnician. Well, I see. Mm -hmm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but hey, look. yeah, Jonesy Lake area is uh, Here we go, beer cans. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feet away. <laughs> what have we got here? Backpacks, eh? They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. I think they might be skinny dipping. Oh shit. Ferret or Irish. Safe for later! Yes! I stole these. Fireworks. Confiscate! You have been confiscated, my friend. Wow, I can actually clean these things up. That's insane. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Oh, uh, what if they're naked? Oh, we got a bra, everybody! Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. I found a bra. <laughs> a pyromaniac. I hear music as well. Uh, there are, uh, panties. There are what? Panties. I don't say that word again. Another bra? There's a. Uh, yes? There are two naked ladies out here. Can you handle that? Found them. I like naked ladies, same as anyone, but there's, you know. Oh, God, music! I found them in the lake. Full stereo! Oh, hey, put that down. Seriously, it was expensive. Fucking cool it with the fireworks. Please just put it down. We won't light anymore. Boom box, yeah! But I, I live up there. Screw you guys. Where'd they go? Find a way back to. Oh, okay. Well, we warned them, bitch. Two forks. Fire lookout. We're going this way. Hey, that go okay? Uh. I hope they drown. They drown. <laughs> I don't think anyone would mourn a couple of future arsonists. Just gonna go ahead and not log that as a threat. Thanks. <laughs> hope they drown. Seriously though, thanks for dealing with it. Yeah, it's it's fine. This is nice. I like it here. I might get this job. <laughs> Two naked teens. You have some rope. What to do? Jester. <laughs> That's just. Smutty of the highest degrees. Okay. Just chilling, running through the glen. 
Why can't I make it down this little thing here? There we go. Come on, good sir. You can, you can do it. We believe in you. I see. I put this fifty shades of Che. <laughs> I'm trying to take my like jacket off. Hang on a sec. At the same time as doing this, it's very difficult. There we go. So I have a bit of a confession That's nice. to make. Okay. What is it? Um, look, I was I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, uh, I was the first boss to be guilty of that. <laughs> I know. I just I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. Two forks lookout. What? It's fine. I'll I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to uh, to a minimum. Nice. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. I'm uh. Kind of making my way there. <laughs> Don't really know how long it's gonna take me there. What the frick was that? Was that nearby storm? Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning. It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home and try not to get hit by lightning. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I got hit by lightning when I was nine years old, so I'm safe. It's not gonna strike twice. Aliens! It's the aliens! An old lookout named Roy Sullivan Hello. got hit by lightning seven times. Really? I don't like the sound of that. Yeah, well, if it makes you feel any better, it wasn't one, what killed One, two. Him. What killed him? Suicide. Would you believe Oh, it? lovely. That's nice. Thanks for that, love. What have we got in here, then? Supply- No, open it back up again. Let's get the info from the old map. What have we got in here? Flashlight! Nice, I love that. Does it work? Ah. Yeah. Oh wow, that's bright. And a horn. Uh, yes! I have a horn! Bring it on! Oh, a cave! Now, do I go looking in the cave? What's in this What's cave? In this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying. From <laughs> dying? From the Forest Service <laughs> on the first. Makes sense. Hello? Yeah. It looks like the path leads through the cave. Back in the cave, huh? Man, I don't need to lose another lookout in there. <laughs> I bless the rings! <laughs> Oh, this game's fun. Ah, Climbing some rocks, cause I'm a pro- Oh, there's a storm look. Oh, hells to the no. Where is my bloody place? Man, I'm quite far away, actually. Go, go, go! What? There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Who's that? He's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I I don't think so. I bless the rain down in Africa. Someone should have told you about this area. Oh great, what is it? It's outside. <laughs> <laughs> I like her. Okay, I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the Where's middle the of nowhere. Is freaky part of guy. Life. Where are you? You freak. He was here. Yeah. Weirdo. Where's my place? I think they can go up here. Okay. Is this guy going to freak me out or something? Is he gonna like jump out of nowhere and freak me the hell out? Starting to get a little suspense here. For freaky guys wandering around and disappearing in the night. I'm such a pro at this already! I've been here like two days! A slender man arrives! Yeah, book in hand, definitely. Freaking Slendy's here. Oh man, that is a loud ass storm. Is this uh is this my place? Am I here yet? Just gonna go do a bit more rock climbing, because I'm so good at this. 
Da -da -da -da. Such a pro at rock climbing. I swear to God, if I turn around, he's there. Oh, no, no, he's not. Okay. Um, carry on. Come on. Oh, no. Yep. Trail close sign. Excellent. Why? Oh, he's tired. Whoa, what? <laughs> Whoops. My bad. Oh, look. My house. Uh, well, that trail isn't closed anymore. Oh, really? Yeah, I took care of the blocked path. <laughs> it was backbreaking, but, you know, anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Okay. I think I found my place. I found the shitter. Wood sign. What is this? Forest Burt. What? You know, I don't think there's any fictional character I hate more than Forest Burns. Henry, as an employee of the Forest Service, that is treason. Yeah, well, he really freaked me out as a kid. <laughs> he inspired me to spend the bulk of my 30s keeping the wilderness safe. A shrink would have a field day with you. Uh, thanks, Mom. Baseball, eh? What kind of name is Forest Burns anyway? Forest Burns, yeah, I get it. I went to junior high with a guy named Royal Butts. Royal? Butts. <laughs> you missed Aliens, Two Naked Girls, <laughs> and Slender Man. <laughs> His mum was creative. Well, Royal's mom, Flo, was a bit of a trendsetter. Flo <laughs> Butts? Oh man, that's even worse. Yeah, well, it's still better than Forrest Burns. Wait, what? Why is my... My typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah. Look, uh, the wind. Uh, oh, how the hell? You should get inside. Fuck me. Oh, what the hell, man? Who's been it? Oh, what? It's ransacked. I'm trying to vo Someone broke in. They what? Just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker. Oh, Motherfucker. Shit. Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. Did they take anything? Can I at least close the door? Oh no, put it back. No, what what no? Okay, I put in a call. <laughs> Just leaves it on its side. <laughs> okay, thanks. Can Do you I have like any idea who would have done this? There we go. Uh, the girls at the lake. Maybe the guy Slenderman did it. Slenderman. I don't know why the fuck he'd want to mess with my stuff. Well, I'll have the Rangers keep an eye out for a man hiking on his own and question him if they find him. <sighs> I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some deranged hiker going after lookouts. Great. Uh, okay. No, put it back. Don't just call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. There we go. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since. Yeah, um, birds of Wyoming. Nice. See if we can get a list of names. Can I just close the door? Much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Yeah. Well. <laughs> Point me to the Forest Service weapons cache and I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. <laughs> yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. Grenades. Grenades. Nice, I like that.